afternoon, my friends. So this is huge breaking news. There is a brand new way for many Americans to receive extra stimulus relief aid. Up to $8,000 in financial assistance can be claimed by millions of Americans this year. Friends, this is wonderful news as this crisis continues to negatively affect the United States. So please make sure to watch until the end of this video if you would like to receive $8,000 in stimulus money. Also, share this video on social media and with your friends and family if they need more honest stimulus news. In a video later today, I will be announcing the winners of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway. I want to commend the president for his extraordinary leadership. Uh, the I just say this, when I was in school, and some of you've heard me say this, I was at the Kennedy inauguration. And he said, everybody knows, it's, Citizens of America, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. The very next sentence that he said is what hit me hard and was, and I'll, I'll never forget it, it's to the citizens of the world, ask not what America can do for you, but what we can do working together for the freedom of mankind. Joe Biden is exemplifying that working together for the freedom of mankind. We look forward to seeing him today. And when we do, we will congratulate him on his leadership in passing the American Rescue uh, Package. So enhanced child tax credit payments were big news in 2021, as eligible families in the United States received more than 200 million advance payments that went to roughly 61 million children. There are many Americans that may miss out on even more relief money. Less attention has been paid to a similar federal program that can provide tax credits of up to $8,000 to families. The program, which is called the Child Independent Care Credit, has been around since the 1970s. So it's not exactly a new program. It was launched to help working parents offset the cost of daycare, after school programs, and summer camps. So in the years since, the credit has mostly lagged well behind inflation. But the wonderful news, friends, is that changed in 2021 when the American Rescue Plan increased the amount of money that parents can claim on their tax returns for child care expenses. The plan also made the child and dependent care credit fully refundable, meaning that if the tax credit exceeds what you owe the IRS, you will receive the difference in your tax refund. According to CBS News, this year parents can get a child and dependent care credit valued as much as $8,000, which is nearly four times the previous limit of $2,100. Under the expanded format, families can claim a credit worth up to 50% of their child care costs, with a limit of $16,000 for two or more kids. This means that families with two kids who spent at least $16,000 a year on daycare in 2021 can receive a maximum of $8,000 back when they file their tax returns this year. Previously, parents could only claim 35% on up to $6,000 in childcare expenses for two kids for a maximum tax credit of only $2,100. Qualifying expenses include care provided inside or outside the home, though you'll have to provide the name of the care provider. Before school and after school programs, are eligible as well. Friends, I know that many of you are wondering what the eligibility requirements are to claim this relief money. To be eligible for this credit, you must have dependents and must also have paid for the care of a qualifying individual while you were working or looking for work during the year 2021. One fact to keep in mind is that the income limits applied to the child independent care credit is similar to those for the enhanced child tax credit and stimulus checks. As CBS News noted, the credit is reduced by 1% for every $2,000 of adjusted gross income for people earning more than $125,000 per year. Households that earn more than $183,000 a year are capped at taking 20% 
of their child care expenses. The credit is not available for households that earn $428,000 or more. The keyword for this video is porcupine. If you would like to enter tonight's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like my videos. And also please enter this keyword and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, friends. According to the Labor Department's new report today, inflation grew worse in February amid the escalating crisis across the globe. The Consumer Price Index, which measures a wide-ranging basket of goods and services, increased nearly 8% over the past 12 months which is a new 40-year high. The February acceleration was the fastest pace since January of 1982, back when the U.S. economy confronted the threat of a higher inflation and reduced economic growth. Food prices rose 1% and food at home jumped 1.4%, both the fastest monthly gains since April of 2020. Energy is also at the forefront of ballooning prices. It is up 3.5% for February and accounting for about one-third of the headline gain. Shelter costs, housing costs accelerated another 0.5% for a 12-month rise of nearly 4.8%, the fastest annual increase since May of 1991. The rise in inflation means that workers' paychecks fell further behind despite what otherwise would be considered strong increases. To try to prevent inflation from rising any further, the Federal Reserve is expected next week to announce the first of a series of interest rate hikes aimed at slowing inflation. It will be the first time that the central bank has raised rates in more than three years. So my friends, what are your thoughts on inflation? And do you think that President Biden is doing enough to get it lower? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my wonderful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate every single one of you for watching my videos every day. Please friends, do me a favor and share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus news information. And please do come back because in a video later today, I'll be announcing the winners of this week's Walmart gift card giveaway. Thank you so very much, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Friday.